Shalom. Greetings in the name of Yahuwah. Uh, I want to talk to you about um, fasting. Um, two very close brothers of mine, um, Brother Yoshia and Brother Yosef, contacted me a few days ago and we spoke about doing um, three days of fasting. And we have those days set and uh, we're going to come together and fast and we're asking for all of the house of Israel to come together and fast. And I'm going to give you some details of this, um, this fasting event and this prayer and fasting that we want to do. But before I do that, I want to talk to you a little bit about fasting and the importance of fasting and fasting correctly and understanding what it is basically. Okay. Um, Isaiah chapter 58 and we're going to read verse 3 through 7. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast ye find pleasure, and exact all your labors. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as you do this day to make your voice to be heard on high. Is this such a fast that I have chosen? A day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a burrish? And to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Wilt thou call this a fast and acceptable day to Yahuwah? Is not this the fast I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, that ye break every yoke. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out into thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. Now, this passage here is very important that you really understand the mind of Elohim when it comes down to fasting. Okay? You see, the Most High, He was literally offended that they went on a fast, right? And when they went on this fast, they didn't hear from him. And he didn't even regard them at all when they fasted. Okay? And so he responded to them and he said, he said, wait a minute. Then you're gonna fast, but during the day of fast, you're gonna enjoy all these pleasures? During the day of fasting? And he's saying, you're gonna exact all your labors and you're gonna do all these other things. He said, strife and debate and smite with the fist of wickedness. Huh? Is, is this the fast that you're trying to do that's, that's, gonna, that's supposed to do what? It's supposed to uh, cause the oppressed to go free? This fast that you're doing is supposed to cause the oppressed to go free? Or is it gonna break every yoke, this kind of fast that y'all doing? And he basically said, I won't even regard your fast. I won't even hear your prayers. So this, it's important that we understand that the Most High expects you that when you pray and when you fast, you take this thing serious and you understand that there's certain things you have to give up when you're fasting. You're not just giving up food. It's very important that you understand this. Now, I got some more scriptures we're going to talk about here that's dealing with fasting, okay? One thing about fasting is the Most High, you can't go to the Most High trying to fast and you got some things in your life that you haven't repented of. You understand me? Now, I, I got a scripture. I got proof for you, okay? Let's go to Nehemiah, okay? Nehemiah chapter 9. And I want you to look at what it says here. Nehemiah chapter 9, and we're going to read verse 1 through 3. Okay. 
this is what it says um, now in the 20th and fourth day of this month the children of Israel will assemble with fastings and with sackcloth and the earth upon them and the seed of Israel separated themselves from strangers from all strangers okay and stood and confessed their sins and iniquities of their fathers and they stood up in their place and read the book of the law of Yahuwah their Elohim one fourth part of the day and another fourth part they confessed and worshiped Yahuwah their Elohim now are you hearing this are you are you hearing what they did see they repented and they did what they separate themselves from all strangers okay and they stood and they confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers so they didn't just confess the, the sins that they had done they even confessed the sins of their fathers you understand this is very important okay and then it says and they took time out in that day and they read the book of the law and that was one full part of the day they spent all that time reading the book of the law and then they took another part of the day and they did what they confessed and they worship Elohim this is what true fasting is all about when you take time out to put away from your food and everything you got to take time out from what else Facebooking okay you got to take time out from unnecessary things that you may be doing you may be watching videos on YouTube you may be watching cable television right and other pleasures and things that you may do you got to abstain from all of that stuff if you're gonna go on a fast and you expect to see some results from that fast you understand this is what the Most High wants so I want you to understand the power of fasting is incredible do you not know fasting prayer and fasting and repentance like this can actually turn, can set the oppressed free? Aren't we living in the land of our captivity? Wouldn't it be amazing that if we all could come together in the land of our captivity, right? And we fast and we repent and we confess the sins of our forefathers, right? Then we confess our own sins before the Most High, right? Then we go before Him, we fast and we pray, right? He said this is the type of fast that will break the yoke of the wicked. You understand? This is the fast that will break every yoke. It will set the oppressors free, huh? It will bring in the blessings from on high. This is the fast that will bring forth healing. It will bring the presence of Yah in your life. This is what the Most High wants us to understand. Okay? Now, I got something I want to show you here. And I want you to think about this. Because we're talking about the uh, fasting and a power fast. I want you to be in the right frame of mind as you go into fasting. Because we really want you all to participate in this fasting in these three days. But we want you all to be in the right frame of mind when you do so. Okay? Now, let's go to Matthew chapter 9. And let's look at this here. This is Matthew chapter 9 and verse 14 and 15. Okay. Now, it says, um, Then came him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast oft, but thy disciples fast not. Okay. Yehoshua said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, then shall they fast. Okay. He was referring to himself as being the bridegroom taken away from us. We know in the book of Acts, Yahushua was caught up right before their eyes. He was taken away from them, right? Then he said, this is the time that ye shall fast while you're waiting for the bridegroom to return. Okay, this is very important that we understand this, okay? Now, it's, it's, some, uh, it's very important 
because of the fact that when Yehoshua left, he made mention of some things that were going to take place um, as he left. Matter of fact, one of the things he said was the comforter would not come except he be taken away. And now when he left, what happened? The comforter came down. This is the Ruach. Okay? We know that the Ruach came down and they were all filled with the, with the Ruach. And so then the days that they, they, they spent, now they spent all these days, I think it was 10 days that they spent where they were seeking the Most High in prayer and fellowship. They all came together and they tarried there for 10 days in the upper room. Okay? This is what caused the Most High to move like he did. You see? So this is all a part of it. When you're praying and you're fasting and you're seeking Elohim. Now, one more thing I want you to understand is the power of fasting. Prayer and fasting. I'll turn to Matthew chapter 7. And let's look at this scripture here. Okay, Matthew chapter 7. I'm going to read 14 through 21. Okay, actually, no. Chapter 17. And this is 14 through 21. Okay. It says, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him, saying, Master, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic, as sore vexed, and oftentimes he falleth into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. Then Yehoshua answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Yehoshua rebuked the devil. And he departed out of, out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yahushua apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Yahushua said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith of a grain as a mustard seed, and, and ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. You hear that? Nothing shall be impossible to you. Then he said, Howbeit this kind go of not out but by what? Prayer and fasting. Wow! Are you hearing this? He literally said that nothing will be impossible to you. If you're praying and fasting, right? That's why he got upset. He literally got upset with the, with the apostles when everyone came to him. He said, how long shall I be with you all? And then he called them what? A faithless, a faith, faithless and perverse generation. Perverse generation. Man, do you see how he looked at them? Because he's sitting there saying, now, I got to go, just like I read to you in the scripture before. He said, it's going to be time for me to leave. The bridegroom can't stay with you always. I got to go. Now, how are y'all going to handle things once I go? You see? Now, I'm trying to show y'all how to have faith, right? And how to believe and how to cast out devils. And, but but you're, not, you're not picking it up. And so when they came to him, that's why he told me, he said, this can't go up not out but by prayer and fasting. You can't have faith to move demons without prayer and fasting. You can't have prayer. You can't have faith to move mountains without prayer or fasting. Are you hearing me? It's so important that we understand this. We, we if you're going to fast and if you're going to pray, you got to go into this with the right mind frame. Because the Most High want to bless you. He do. He really do want to bless his people. He want his people to come out of this captivity. That's true. But his people don't want to come out of this captivity. He want his people to repent. You see? And it's all a part of it. And I know we can come together. We can pray to Yahuwah and ask Yahuwah to bless us on these days. And to open our understanding. And to turn about this captivity 
that we've been in for all these years. You know, the fast, and we pray that this fast will be able to, to cause Yahuwah to move on our behalf. Because we need him so to do so. We need him to move on our behalf. Hallelujah. We need you, Father, to move for us. We need you. We need you to set us free. Hallelujah. I have one more um, scripture that I want to read here in Daniel. And then I'm going to wrap this up and give you the information um, the days that we're going to be doing this three-day fast. Okay. Uh, let's go to Daniel. Chapter 9. Okay, and this is uh, going to be verse 3 through uh, 7. Okay, Daniel chapter 9, verse 3 through 7. Okay. And it says, And I set my face unto Yahuwah Elohim to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. And I prayed unto Yahuwah my Elohim and made my confessions and said, O oh, Yahuwah, the great and dreadful Elohim, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, uh, thy servants the prophets, which spake thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, to all and to all the people of the land. O Yahuwah, righteousness belongeth unto thee but unto us confusion of faces as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to all Israel that are near and that are far off throughout all the countries whether thou hast driven them because they, are, they, are, they trespass that they have trespassed against thee O Yahuwah, to us belongeth confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. To Yahuwah, our Elohim, belongeth mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him, neither have we obeyed his voice, the voice of Yahuwah, our Elohim, to walk in his laws, which he set before us, by servants, by his servants, the prophets. Yeah, all of Israel have transgressed thy law, even by the parting that they may not obey thy voice. Therefore, cursed is poured upon us the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of Yahuwah, thy Elohim, because we have sinned against him. Now, Woo! <laughs> Man. Now, you see how important it is that we repent? Notice, Daniel probably hadn't did nothing wrong. But Daniel said, we have sinned. Because he knew that he was attached to Israel. And he said, we have all sinned, Father. We have sinned and walking away from your statutes, your commandments, your precepts. We have committed all types of iniquity and have done wickedly, and have rebelled against you, Father. Man. He said, so, this is why we have the confusion of face. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Please understand what I'm saying here. You know, A person can fast all day long. A group of people can fast all day long. If they don't fast with the right heart, with the right mind, the mind of repentance and turning away from wickedness, 
then that fast would literally be in vain. So that this fast don't be in vain, let's understand what thus saith Yahuwah. Let's understand what his word is saying. Fasting is powerful. And this is an opportunity that we can actually come together in the name of Yahuwah. That all of us out here in the land could repent for what we have done and what our fathers have done. Repent and come before him crying out. And giving these days to him. Setting aside all the pleasures and giving ourselves to him in prayer and fasting. That in the name of Yahuwah, he could turn around some of these things for us. Turn it around for us. Maybe he can cause our people to finally start to repent out here in the land. You know, maybe that's what he could do. Or maybe those that have repented, that he could turn some of the curses around in their lives just from those who have, who have, who have alone by themselves repented and choose to fast and choose to seek him in their whole heart. I pray that the Most High can touch our hearts and cause us to be pricked in our hearts to the point where we will cry out to him rightly and be able to humble ourselves enough to fall out before him and just come before him in a humble heart and a humble spirit before him. Um, I thank the Most High for... Um, uh, these two brothers, Brother Yoshai and Brother Yo uh, Yosef, um, for, um, you know, coming together and, and wanting to do this thing. And we're definitely going to participate in this. Um, we're asking for three days of fasting. The theme is going to be called a cry for Yah's help for the nation of Israel. Okay. Um, the dates are going to be February the 28th. February 29th and March the 1st okay three days of fasting okay we're asking for all of those that can do this three days no food no water for three days and I know some of us have different beliefs as to when the day starts whether it's the evening or whether it starts in the morning that's totally up to you according to your belief do it according to your belief okay because we all have different beliefs. We're trying to put all that aside, aside so that we could uh, come together and fast and pray. Okay. Um, some of us may want to do a different type of fast. There are different fasts. Um, I refer to um, the one in, the, in, the, in, in Daniel as, as a, uh, the Daniel fast. It's more like a, uh, people can do vegetables um, on those days of fasting. There's an herb um, fast that was mentioned in one of the books of the Apocrypha. Okay, where someone went on an herb fast and all they ate was the herbs or the flowers or the field or something like that where all that they ate and the most high he really blessed them in their mind and stuff you know and um, there's so much that I could teach on fasting you know but I, I, I don't, I'm not going to go there today in this lesson and maybe I'll do another lesson to tap into this again but there's so much that the most high can do for you um, during the time of fast but I, I, I thank the Most High for this, and I, I want to ask you all to participate in this. Again, it's going to be February the 28th, the 29th, and March the 1st. And the theme is going to be a cry for Yah's help for the nation of Israel. And so we're going to, we're going to pray and ask the Most High to, to, to hear his people, you know, and, and, and to turn around this captivity and to finally just... just open up some doors for his people you know we get into those last days you know times are getting um, crazy you know they're talking about food shortages and people are gonna be forced to fast anyway you know they're talking about food for the shortages you know so you might as well fast now you know because it, it, it's coming <laughs> you know it's coming it's happening all over the place so you know on that note I want you to know that I love you and that and I want you to keep continue to pray for me and my family and may the Most High, Yahuwah, continue to bless you and yours. In Yehoshua's name, Shalom.